Welcome everyone. I am Ashutosh. In this video today, I am going to explain how to do CI binding using event rules based upon the host name of that particular CI. This particular video will be using the default CI binding for any table that extends the hardware table. For this, we created one event rule and this event rule is like this. The name is my demo source testing. Then the event filter is description matches the regular, the regular expressions that is uh, the description starts with V. Then the transpose here you can see we are going to just simply pass the node value in the JSON payload which I will show you shortly and it will be mapped directly with the node. And this is nothing but the uh, host name where we need to bind, the, bind that alert or, or we need to populate the CI on the alert form. Then here in the binding section, you can see we are going to follow the default principle that it will use CI name for the binding of the CI and it applies to any class which extends the CMDB CI hardware class. Okay, so let's go and see the service which I will be using. I created one service for this and the service is this. Yeah, it takes time to load. Okay, so in this example, we are going to do CI binding on this EXI host. Okay, and for that reason, right now you can see there is no alert here, nothing here, and there is no impact, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a event using this payload. Uh, so that you can see that the node value is the EXI host, which I showed, showed you on the map. So let's go ahead and create an event. I'm going to send this. Great, the event is created. Now let's go back to events. Here you can see it is getting processed. I'm going to open this. Here you can see the alert is created and you can also see the, the processing nodes, how the CI got binded here you can see node will be resolved to the CI with the sys ID of the CI that is EXI host bound by the node name because we have passed the node name it, it can be uh, FQD and it can be IP address it can be MAC address I will create video on IP address uh, as well uh, it will be linked to my knowledge or, or my community article as well so please follow that article so let's go to the service map now you can see I'm going to refresh this as soon as I refresh you can see the alert is created and that alert is created on this so basically here on the configuration item you can see exi test 01 that is this and you can see the impact because once this exi host is affected yeah definitely the the windows machine which are hosted on this particular exi host will also get affected and indirectly the application the service will be affected and the database will be affected because this database runs on this windows machines and this application depends on this machine and the database right so this is how you create the or you do the ci binding based upon the host name if you have any questions about this please please comment in my article or on my video i will Try to respond to your questions and I will try to solve those questions as soon as possible. Thank you.